Hey guys, I got a new cast iron skillet. It's from Griswold and it's not warped and I want to restore it. See how I do it. Quite happy I got this. This is, uh, it's, it's got some crud on it, whether it's baked on rust uh, or gunk, I don't know, but it's pretty thick on here. Could use some good elbow, elbow grease or a drill, which I think I'll be using on this one. This patina here is very thick. It's been built up for over many years. So uh, that's, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, on the bottom of it, it's got a cross with the Griswold name inside it. And that is supposedly, that design is, was only used from 1897 to 1957 to give you an idea of how old it is. As you saw, it didn't wobble at all, uh, so it's not warped, not a, kind of a spinner as they call it uh, in the cast iron world. So I'm really happy with that. It's uh, a lot of work here to do, but not as much as you would think. It's not going to be very difficult to do this at all with some power tools. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with this. This is not uh, warped at all, so I'm very happy. So um, when I get done with this, this is going to be, instead of black with that black patina, it's going to be gray and ashy looking. And then we'll drill it with an, an attachment, and then we will scrub it thoroughly. So what I'm doing here is bringing the temperature up slowly. I don't want this to warp. Uh, I've made it this far without being warped, so let's bring it up slowly temperature almost 650 say so she's been on there about what maybe a half hour so far just let it go this is like a self-cleaning cycle for your indoor oven it's just jacked up that's why I took my grills off I don't want to reseason them. There's nothing wrong with them. So it's been about 45 minutes or so. Um, but that's pretty interesting. You see a layer of rust that was uh, not seen before that you can see now because the patina has been burned off. Uh, which is cool. We're going to clean that rust. We're going to get rid of it. Um, shine it down, grind it down, all that good stuff. that here right through the patina the old patina that we scrubbed off Alright, that layer of uh, rust is coming off there pretty nicely, as you can see. Very cool. side here that we talked about earlier we've got to get this off here so let's turn this over let's get this rust off here on the bottom too we'll give it a once or twice over and we'll finish it off in the sink with the scrub pad stuff on the side came off but it's uh, basically gray instead of black 
So at this point, it's okay to scrub it using a Brillo pad or whatever, and soap, and uh, then re-season it. Kind of pretty warm. We're gonna get that water hot. With this Brillo pad, Well, it's not a Brillo pad, it's a sponge with a rough, rough side. I've already got the burner heating up on the stove to uh, evaporate all this water once I dry it. Gave it a good rinse. Here's a crud coming off. Warm, above a warm uh, burner right now. And I'm gonna jack it up right now. When all that water evaporates. So then what we're gonna do is put a heavy, heavy dose of medium smoke point oil you don't want it really high because you want to form a patina and then we're going to put in the oven for for an hour at 450 which is a mid-level burn point we're going to saturate it with its first new application and like i said before it's gray now uh all that patina is burnt off and uh Kind of gray or silverish right now if we use an oil with a too low of a smoke point and too high of a temperature it would just burn off the oil conversely if we used an oil with a high smoke point and didn't get the temperature high enough it wouldn't turn into a patina okay so i'm going to use a different part of the rag to get a patina, the first patina. And when we get done, I might do two. When we get done, it won't be gray anymore. It'll have burned onto the pan. It'll be more of a copper or bronze tone. Turn off the burner. It's upside down. in an hour. Well, here we go. It's all done. Look at this baby. This is only after two uh, burner or uh, stove oven applications. And as you can see, it's a little coppery looking um, on some of the area. It's not completely black yet. But that copper will slowly over time turn into that really thick patina that we, want, that we want. And you can barely, this is directly in the sun. So anybody worried about the, the, the marks left behind by that, uh, um, that attachment to the drill? Uh, no worries. You can barely even tell that was done and this is a very thin patina so far. So, it's well on its way. You see that copper or bronze look to it. Again, I did not do a comprehensive multi-attachment and then sand it down after that. I want to make sure this was safe to eat off of um, and uh, just restore it. Some of the, you can see some of the black old patina still left down there, which is fine. I just wanted all the rough stuff off there and all the rust. Very happy with it. Don't look now. But it looks like Jessica has been developing an interest in cast iron lately over the last couple months. So, in the interest of keeping that interest going, I said that she could cook the first meal out of this new to us cast iron skillet. Provided that it's bacon. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm.